Hello and welcome to this week's What's Hot. And this week, of course, we learn if the Chancellor's budget will result in fiscal fortitude and be politically astute, ensuring that the Tories stand a fighting chance of another term in office. Now, it's also at this time of year that investors consider reshuffling their portfolios, deciding on ISA allocations and whether they are wanting to incorporate more income paying stocks into their portfolio, the ones that pay the dividends. So let's start with Greg's. Now, its updates are as easy to digest as its pastries. It's becoming the new John Lewis in many ways, with staff being given a bonus share of the £17.6 million profit that they have just declared. And it's looking after its shareholders with a rather tasty special dividend of 40 pence a share. And to use a foodie metaphor, that's also a rather tasty three-month chart. Well, staying with dividends and Jonathan Webster Smith, the chief investment officer of Balmore Asset Management, says for investors planning for their retirement for whom income is a primary concern, FTSE 350 shares are a core part of their portfolios. Now, UK billionaire Jim Mellon, he's been saying the same thing for almost a decade now. He talks about the UK stocks having higher yielding dividends than their counterparts elsewhere. The UK is an undervalued market, um, you know, both in international metrics and also from individual corporations. And the UK is a very outward looking market in the sense that many of the major companies in the UK derive a lot of their income from overseas. Um, and the UK is also a big dividend producer. So, uh, you know, the UK market on average is producing somewhere over 4% in in uh, dividends, which is way higher than most other markets um, around the world, and they're typically consistent and growing uh, dividends. And you can hear more of Jim's thoughts live in person at this year's Master Investor Show. You've still got time to register for the event and for free entry, use the discount code MIS2024, MIS being Master Investor Show. And for those FTSE 350 dividend paying stocks, think Lloyds Bank, Schroders, GSK and Reckitt Benkaiser, who've all increased their dividends recently. And I appear to have inadvertently hacked into the Google document from UKDividendStocks.com and you'll see many of the house builders on that form, including Persimmon, Barrett Developments and Taylor Wimpy. I wonder what provision the Chancellor is going to make for the housing industry, where well, we won't have too long to find out. Well, hope you well, take care, and I hope to see you in person at this Saturday's Master Investor Show, this Saturday being March the 9th. Take care, see you there.